What's up, guys? I'm Ashley. I have medium and clairvoyant abilities, and I use my abilities to help you live your best life. This is a video for the sign of Leo. It's a general reading. If you do not resonate with this reading, feel free, 100% free, to schedule a private reading, and the link is in my description box. If you do resonate with this reading, still, and you want more information or you have any other questions, the link for a private reading is in my inbox. I can deliver it to you within 24 hours or three to seven business days, whichever one you choose. Again, this is a general reading for the sign of Leo. And the theme of today's reading is it's time for new beginnings. Why? Because Leo, as I was pulling your cards, I pulled the eight of cups. Sorry, the bottom of the deck was the Eight of Cups, and then you have the Adjustment card, which is the Eighth Trump card in the Toth deck, and also you have the Eight of Discs. The numbers 888 resonates with resurrection, so whether you believe in Jesus Christ, Horus, um, Isis, I, you know, whatever you believe in, whatever God you believe in, the story is the same. If you don't believe me, look it up. Anyway, um... It's a tuning to new beginnings. It's a tuning to rebirth. It's a tuning to growing and being rebirthed and into your best life. It's a tuning to you being all that you were created to be. It's a, basically a tuning to new beginnings in your life. But the reason why you have not experienced those new beginnings is you are having trouble understanding what it takes. So with the Seven of Cups, you see how... And this person or this situation is not flourishing. Look at the flowers. They're dead because they are in poison. They have not been rooted in the proper soil and ground like these flowers in order to flourish. In order to flourish, you have to put yourself out there and put yourself in a, in a position to be able to flourish. If you are being complacent, if you are being delusional, if you are being... Um, anything other than what you were created to be or if you're ignoring what you're supposed to do if you're not following your dreams if you are just being tricking yourself into making you feel like you're happy but you're not really happy this is a situation this is poison this is a poisonous situation that does not allow you to flourish and you know resurrect or become the person that you were created to be but no worries because it's your time for new beginnings and it is your time to step out of your comfort zone into resurrection. It is time for you to go through whatever it is that you have to go through in order for you to resurrect into your higher self, into your best life, into new beginnings. The second card you have is the Eight of Prudence. You have the Eight of Discs. And that's just saying new beginnings are on the horizon for you, like I've already said. You know, once you get rid of this situation, is this situation that's holding you back from flourishing. New beginnings is on the horizon for you. And it's going to make you very happy. But this is also a tuning to do what makes you happy. What is it that makes you happy, Leo? Find it. Find that person, place, or thing. But this is about you. This isn't about something external. It could be a combination of both. But do what makes you happy in all aspects of your life. Be with who makes you happy. Do the thing that makes you happy. Whatever it is, it is the key to your resurrection. It is the key to your new beginnings. It is the key for you living your best life and actually being happy instead of pretending to be happy. I also pulled an oracle card for you because I love Leo's. And you have, look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sagittarius. How perfect is that? It's so cute too. Look at that. How perfect is that? And it's basically saying this card is also a reminder that we often have to take a few risks and go with uncertainty on this journey called life. Try to keep an open mind about what's for the best. The universe could surprise you. It also says that this situation may have come around because you've been distracted. This is distraction. You know, sometimes things that keeps us from flourishing into our higher selves, into resurrection, into more life and more life. Um, is a distraction that it doesn't seem like poison, but it is, you know, like staying at a job that you know you're not supposed to be at too long or staying with a person you know you're not supposed to be with too long. That They become a distraction to you being with the person you're supposed to be with or you doing what you're supposed to be doing in life. Um, so sometimes we have to take a few risks in order to put ourselves in a position to be resurrected for new beginnings. Um, yeah, it was a risk. Like if you believe <laughs> in the story of Jesus or, you know, Horus or any of these other gods, which have all the same story, then you know that it took a risk in order for resurrection. It takes 
going through something or it takes, you know, a risk to be resurrected into your higher self. And it just may be time for you to take that risk. I hope this helps, Leo. Um, I do love you and I wish you love and light. Peace.